it's hardly a new thrill. Hot air balloons have been around for 233 years. But how these balloons actually fly is not widely known. We're off. So here in Maryland, 36-year veteran balloon pilot Mike Jared is showing us how it's done. I don't feel any wind, yet we're a few hundred feet in the air. How is you that? You don't feel any wind because the balloon will always go the same speed as the wind it's in. Which leads to this question. And how does it stay in the air? Well, we're staying in the air because what we've done is heat the air inside and make it less dense. And by making it less dense, we've become buoyant. So that fire heats the air. It heats the air, expands it, OK? And as it expands it, it forces it out of the mouth of the balloon, making the balloon lighter than air, which is why the aircraft category is called that, lighter than air. And just like an airplane or helicopter, a hot air balloon has redundancies to cope with most emergencies. What we have here are the equivalent of four engines. I have two separate fuel sources, two separate main blast valves, and a bypass valve. So any one of the four will allow the aircraft to fly. Right now, our altitude is about 1,000 feet. That's typical for a tourist trip. Our pilot tells us he's been up to 11,000 feet in this balloon before. Once you get to about 14,000 feet, that's when you need extra. So how does it land? I can do one of two things. I can not put heat in, and the balloon will cool off naturally and come down. And then you can tap the brakes, if you will, by just putting a little bit of heat in to slow it down. Or this line right here goes to a vent all the way in the top of the balloon. And by opening and actuating the vent, I can dump hot air out and initiate a descent. This cut grassy field over here is where we're going to shoot our landing approach, either that or the yard right here. What's the main danger when landing? Power lines. Power lines. Power lines and obstacles. So what we're doing now is we're coming in, you feel the wind on your face. We're going to drop down in this yard here. This is a yard where we have prior permission. So you're okay. always looking out for those power lines, though. nothing exactly. worse. Nothing worse. There is nothing worse. You gentlemen will want to hold on to an upright. We're going to slide in here on this grass. It's five tons of energy. And there you have it. Nice job. And you're home. Gary Tuckman, CNN. Bel Air, Maryland.